So for making a high quality UI, we need a high quality image also. We also need a non copyright background. So for we can use in our sketcher layouts. So first of all, we need a reference. Okay, so you can go in Google and search them, you know, website, uh, high quality websites, UX level design, login design. And as we can see, I found a high quality design. As we can see, it's pretty good. So it's give you some, uh, you know, some it's give you some data that you can make your own so i decided to make my some you know uh, some background so for making this i need to i i already go in logo maker and just create a new and set it the all device wallpaper now we need to add the add a logo we need to just add a apple yeah now you're uh, telling me that bro why you are adding a apple also we need to add our picture okay that which one we created or just picked and then we need to just call it and at our apple we need to click on pickup color and just set the color okay because we want that color so now we can delete this and now we just use this apple background these sides okay yeah it's called the talent yeah you can make something very nice by using any of type you know stuff like a apple also so i'm just doing the same thing also you can do the in logo maker it's so much advanced so you can make your you know some different type of shapes and other stuff so i'm just using the same make sure that try to you know don't use to try to the apple reference okay so then duplicate it again and you know i'm just giving it at a random some random values and random ages and as you can see my image is pretty enough good but this apple side is not good so i'm trying to changing it that how in my scene is work so it takes some time you know for making the a background for your image so it can take time so make sure you have some you know some enough times to make these references or you can buy for someone uh, that you can provide you this high quality some image uh, maybe for myself it's maybe done at here maybe I need to just you know just call it some um, little bit of right side okay I think it is done for myself then click on download and just download so now we need to again create a new and just go at the background now we need to again add our this one that uh, the image which one we create uh, just pick for, for our website then click on color picker and then just click on this color and now what will we do is basically simple we will add our last test image which one we add uh, just create okay like this one now you have a question that bro how can we use this this stuff so you need to just click on the eraser and you need to just click on auto so at the auto what will we do is basically remove this stuff okay so now we can use this one so now we can remove this and use our these references as you can see it's pretty enough good and it's also giving us the color varieties okay now it's done also if you want you can change it like which how we want like this stuff or this or as like this so i think this one is perfect so i download it now we need to go in sketchware just click on image now click on add and now you need to go i will save just click on done and just rename it like a image or something else and now we can use in our linear we use the linear because we will add some you know in others details also now we need to just go add the view and just remove this stuff and hide it so as you can see our references is come in our sketchware app so now we need to create the buttons and the other stuff so first of all we'll add a linear at here and a text the text will be displayed the same name so just click uh, that create a room okay we just get name it that create a room between the sp and set the text with uh, white uh, i already add some you know fronts so if you want you can you know change the fronts uh, but in my case i'm not changing the fronts because i have with me this fronts okay now we need to set like a you know you can now check your this thing that as you can see this one is uh, more big and some you know uh, down so we'll add it some down by adding this stuff okay now this i think this one is done we need to just add the, make it some big that this 
and now we need to again add a tax this tax will be to create a room welcome user okay so we'll create a high quality ui so we need to give some details at here okay everything is important for making a high quality ui as you can see it's now giving me a very high quality look like a professional developer okay now this one is done now we need to add a simple that the edit text the edit text will be for the email so now we'll be just hint just change the name that email and just do like this and we can change the hint color at to white so we can see or the user can easily see the hint color at here also we need to set make sure that your uh, the text size is perfect or it will be you know it can give you some problem okay then we will add a linear at the linear we just simply set it the size to 5 just you know give it some a small gaps and then again we'll be set it that password and now we will set the text okay the hint color equals white okay and also we will change it to 16 sp so that is good good more good okay so now we have this stuff now we need to add a simple button and then after doing this thing we need to just give it some a, a gap so it will be pretty enough now we need to give that every app have or every login page have that forget password okay for just give it that forget password and make sure the gravity is always at the right side or you can set it to the left side so i'm setting it you know right uh, right side because it's uh, give me a high quality ui then we need a image so at the image we will again set it that uh, uh, make sure that it's pretty enough this one is for google login so if you think that your app use google login so you can add i already have the google uh, you know the references so if you don't have you can download from my description link below so this one just click on add and you find like this i just created it's non copyright totally so ggg so it's google account i should give it name something else however now let's set the image at here okay like the gg so as you can see this references is not good because we need to also set this the size so sometimes size can be you know depict so make sure it's central and horizontal also now we need to simply just you know rescale it or resize it for our match with our scene so for doing this thing we will first set the linear to gravity center of horizontal now at the center of horizontal we need to just you know just do some stuff that how we can match match with this stuff or you can set it with center of crop uh, so it will be matched with full stuff Okay, as you can see now we will give it 300 uh, maybe it's enough for our app or you can also give some small so it's you know it takes some time for some time that how you want okay i think this one is tough good then we'll add a linear now at the linear we'll add a button now we'll also set this at the full so as you can see now we need a button color background color so for doing this we go at our linear here now just click on color picking just select on this one just copy this code so this one is the color references code now go at the background click on customize uh, you know the code just paste your color and you find the color so as you can see it's now matching with our uh, Pluton so now what will we do is basically very simple that one is done now we'll add simply the scene and slash uh, sing up okay the final first one is for sing up and then we'll add a here that it tags is equals to white okay so then we'll again add a simple text that or okay the or will be displayed at our user want to log in or do something others okay so for seeing the or we'll add it color to uh, this stuff now our app is pretty enough good so we'll also do the same stuff for our login page same and set the size to 18 sp and set the text to login because first one is for lo uh, first one is for seeing up and second one is for login okay if you want to if you want you can change also it's your, your it's your choice set the background again to our customized purple color and as you can see we have now a pretty enough and pretty groove uh, ui so what will we do is basically very simple now we can we can give it a round corner 
so we can search in your share preferences that uh, round uh, cor and your corner okay you find the references box i already have so i just click on import if you don't have i give you this uh, source code so you need to just create this one is the round code at the radius with the shadow so we'll just uh, not this one sorry this one is as to uh, just import uh, this is called the round corner uh, why is go round corner x radius force background color maybe this one yeah this one now go in the activity go at the modes and you find like this that the view we need to set our button one and the simply button two okay these two block will be display now we need to paste the color okay make sure that you paste the color goodly and also you need to add a hashtag okay don't add any hashtag sorry not hashtag you don't need to just give the color okay now you need to give the corner radius that how much you want like the side so for example i am giving it 8 okay the 8 is perfect then we just add with like this and now if we will run it we can see the power or the we can see our beautiful ui okay guys now it's time to run it so let's open and as you can see a high quality and a good looking ui we have right now uh, which one is responsible user can easy uh, user file user found very high quality ui at here as you can see it's very good and user feel also very happy at this one that the a high quality ui it's very depend for your you know your project so i just hope you like my video so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye